Thanks for coming in, you guys. It's good to see you. Uh, I feel happy that we're meeting together again and that we're studying Tlingit together. And Heen Tanakh Kayani Desiyaya Ya Des Tleg Kadakadu Shu Ya Wachi Ya Des It's March 27th today. And yeah, day eight of our class. Hello. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I I did the lecture in Friday on Friday in Juno last week. Um that was really fun. There's a recording on the Sea Alaska Heritage Institute YouTube channel if you want to watch it. Oh, what's that called? Um actually I'll just share it now. Okay. I meant to pull it up and I I'll do it now. All right. I'll share the link with you guys in case you're interested. Um, yeah, that would be so cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. The feedback I got from folks was that um, since I shared about my experience learning it and then becoming a teacher and then starting a business for my language teaching, that those things were helpful. Uh, so I'll put this in the chat. Can you also send us the link via email so that we can watch it? I'll just put it in the chat and you can open your chat and click it and then and then you'll have it already. If that's okay. Okay. Thank you. So uh, this is it. It's on the Sea Alaska Heritage Institute website or YouTube channel. I just put the link to this in the chat. Uh, if you click it, it'll open up. You can just hit pause and watch it later. Um, but yeah, I shared about being a language scholar under the Sea Alaska Heritage Institute scholarship program, uh, the skills that I learned during that time, and then how I apply them to maintain healthy relationships between me and my mentors, my students, my colleagues, and how essential relationship, professional relationships are to my work. Um, oh, crappers. Yeah. Okay, so a couple of announcements. The uh, class next week is canceled, April 3rd. I'm traveling to a symposium on American Indian languages. And so on the 3rd, I'll be traveling, and then it, it will take place the 4th or the 5th in Tucson, Arizona. Cool. Yeah, so I'll be traveling with my teacher cohort from the Doyon Languages Education Program. That's my regional native nonprofit is Doyon Foundation. And that's on April 4th? Yeah, April 4th. And since it's on April 4th, I'll be traveling next Wednesday. So next Wednesday, there's no class. Okay. The week after there's a class? And then the week, the two weeks after there's a class, so no class April 3rd, but there is class April 10th and April 17th. So our last class will be April 17th. Are you, are you going to do another, another class after this last one? I would like to, I'm going to try to take the summer off this year. Um, cause I've been keeping myself really busy nonstop since I started teaching and uh, I need to take a break. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'll try to take a break this summer and then come back and teach again in the fall. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Because I, I'm really enjoying these classes and I feel like I'm, I'm learning a lot. And I'm actually, like I said before, I'm starting to recognize some words and some phrases, but I'm not sure if about the spelling and that because i don't have that on my laptop i don't know how to put that the clink language on my laptop yeah do you i forgot to ask you did you have a apple or pc i have an apple macbook air 
Okay, um, I think we have a little bit of time at the end of class today, so I'll just make a note and I'll give you guys a quick demo. Uh, demo on keyboards. It's a little tricky. Yeah, it's a little tricky, so um, I'll get you started and then probably we'll, we'll revisit it again over the next couple of classes. Um, so jumping right in, uh, we're going to review our vocabulary that we've learned so far. And I like, like I said, I like to do a lot of repetitions so that um, as the weeks go on, you'll be like, okay, I've seen this word 600 times, but that's my goal because it just makes it easier over time. And then we'll just keep adding a little bit from there. Um, but repetition is good because the more we hear it, the more we'll understand it and the more we'll recognize the spelling and everything. Good, yeah. So yeah. first one for we'll do a translation for our warm up. Wasat du wasak ach guk leit kach einach. Ach guk. Ah guk. What is it ach, called? Guk is ear. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait. <laughs> and if I say ach guk, whose ear am I talking about? Mine. Yeah. Oh wait. Kanach yek ein. That's right. Really good. And wasa do a sock a quack like a reina. My nose. Close. Any other guesses? My eye. Yeah, oh, wait, my eye. You do a sock like a reina. What about a a I almost pointed. Let. Like. Nose. Yeah, oh, wait, my nose. <laughs> And anyone can chime in too. Uh, last one, a uh, lips. Like we did head. Like no mouth. Like, like, like a good one. Mouth. My mouth. Good. So go ahead and repeat these after me. First one, a guk. A guk. Ah, a Good, you guys sound good on this. Um, let's do it again just for repetition. My mouth. Repeat. Yeah, repeat after me. So now let's do it the other way. Wasa do wasak my ear. Think it greenach. Ach, guk. Ach, guk. Ach, guk. You do it. Ach, guk. Ach, guk. Wasa do wasak my eye. Think it greenach. Ach, guk. Ach, Ach, guk. You do wasak. Ach, guk. Ah. My nose koa. Ah, my nose. Repeat after me. Ah, and my mouth. So go ahead and repeat all these again after me. First one, ach guk. Ach guk. Ach wak. Ach wak. Ach l. Ach l. Ach l. Ach l. Yeah. Oops. I just realized I didn't have my uh, microphone plugged in. Does it sound okay? Yeah, yeah. It sounds better now. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. <laughs> um, so these are when we talk about body parts, we need to specify whose or what's body part we're talking about. We usually wouldn't just put gook or walk uh, on their own. We would always put whose before. So my ear, your ear, their ear, it's something's ear. And in the video that we watched, they use this term to make it general. 
And it's a walk. So repeat this after me. A walk. A walk. Yeah, when you put a in front of walk, it just means a thing's eye. So in the video we watched, there's a block with an eye painted on it. And we don't know whose eye or what's eye. So she just says a thing's eye. And so it sounds like one more time. Repeat after me. A walk. Walk. Yeah, and then in a thing's nose, repeat after me. At sh. At At cook. At cook. And at eh. At eh. Yeah, these are phrases that we'll hear in the video when we watch it again. Okay, some more review, this time using pictures. Uh, when you see it, go ahead and say it. Ready, go. Almost like gook, like mm, gook. Yeah, when you're telling someone to go, you say go. Yeah. This mm -hmm. one's a little shorter. Yeah. yeah. That's what it reminded me of as soon as I um, sounded it out. Nice. Just say chuck. My grandma used to say it all the time. <laughs> yeah. A clue. Ah, walk. Ah, walk. 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 Good. Ah, 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 Repeat after me. Ah, eh. 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 Good. Good. And some dialogue practice. Any questions on those, our vocabulary items? You guys were able yeah. to you guys were able to translate them um and drill them and you're I can tell you're getting more familiar with them. <laughs> Okay, so let's do yeah, let's do the dialogue. I'll be person A and you all be person B together. Wasa iduasa. Carry in your you hat iduasa. Good enough. Okay, now I'll be person A and you be person B again. Wasa iti. Wasa Yeti. Ah, Ah, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
Okay, I'll be person A and choose the top response for person B. Iit kayan uaha. Ah. Uh, now I'll uh, I'll be person A and choose the second response for person B. Iit kayan uaha. <laughs> Repeat this one after me. You guys sounded good. Yeah, you sounded good. Repeat this one after me. Like, like, uh-huh. One more time. Like, like, Okay. Any questions or comments so far? I think you guys sound really good. Okay. Asking questions. There is one in the comments. Oh, thank you. Thank you for telling me. Oh, uh, Anna, okay. uh, this is Kathy. I have a question oh, yeah. where it says my spirits, plural, are, uh, what was it, uh, rising? How do you just say my spirit? Um, this would be the same way. So my spirit is a choice. Whenever we translate something into English, we always make a lot of choices along the way. Uh -huh. You can choose between being really literal. You can choose to go for the feeling if it's from poetry or oratory. Um, you can choose that something that's more along the conversational context, what would be more like normal or appropriate in that language. And this one, I have a feeling... I copied it from Klingitrenachsa. And so let's actually, let's open it up and see which which one they choose. Um, but that's a good question because as you all advance and start doing transcription and translation for work, the, you're going to be making some of these choices. Uh, as a learner myself, I default to copying what choices have already been made by the Downhowers and other fluent speakers. But let's take a look and see. I just want to look at the resource. Oh, actually, I think it's Tlingit Reinach. So let's do this. Yeah, my understanding is that it's always been like interchangeable and that uh, like in in a way like you'll notice that we don't always indicate things when they're plural like it, so for some descriptors like you know we can say one one raven or there's several ravens in the trees so yeah i think it just is sort of like a just whatever moves you in the moment i think you know like maybe your spirit's are reflective of like multiple things that you're happy about that day or that you're feeling good about versus just like your general uh all all around like your spirit your being your your you know yourself um so just a little just a little something there yeah like sometimes in english i hear like um oh they're good they're in good spirits and then other times i'll be like hear someone's refer to it as spirit so what is this that you're looking at right now? Oh, this is the resource I pulled up um, where I copied the translation for the for the slide that I showed you. And mm -hmm. this is published by Sea Alaska Heritage Institute, and it's a really good learning resource. I'll show you how to get to it. Um, but what we're looking at is like the CD flap. And then there's an accompanying audio, audio file folder where you can hear these being pronounced by Johnny Marks. He mm -hmm. was ready, and then you can read along. So it's a really good resource. So oh, let me, um, yeah. Let me take you there and show you how I got here. Okay. 
um, if you go into this website, mm -hmm. clickitlanguage.com, which I'm going to put in the chat right now. I just took a picture with my phone. <laughs> okay, cool. I know I have so many photos on my phone of like holding it up when I used to take class from Clinique. <laughs> That's what I do. I do it all the time. Yeah. I, yeah. So um, if you go to clinicallanguage.com and under the resources tab, let me make this larger because I have a feeling it's kind of small. Um, if you go into the resources tab and hover down to beginning materials, mm -hmm. it takes page we're at now, beginning materials. Um, this is the book I teach from, the beginning Clinket workbook by Rene, which is based off the book by the Downhars. Anyway, if you scroll down, mm -hmm. uh, you can see the ones in purple that I'm always clicking. This one that we're looking at is Go ahead and repeat that after me. Yeah, that means hear it in Shinget. It's a mini phrase book and CD uh, by Johnny Marks, the Down Hours, and Carrie Edwards. So uh, if you click audio files, it'll take you to um, this Google Drive where you can, yeah, they're labeled by track number. So you can find the track that you're looking for. Oh my God. And, yeah. And then you can also click the, this one and it takes you to um the text you have to click this again text and this is the little booklet that comes in front of the cd mm -hmm. so i'm zoomed way in since i'm showing this on my screen but if you zoom out you can see the track that you're listening to mm -hmm. so for example the one we're listening to is track 23 on disc one and so if i wanted to listen to it we could go track 23 and I'm going to click it and it'll just start playing so cool I'm happy yeah I'm sleepy Ach to My spirits are soaring. Ach to what would they clean? Ach to clean? Ach to what would clean? I'm grumpy. I'm fine. Good. That's like the wasai tea and then the response. Yeah, exactly. Um yeah, when we good job responding, you guys, you all sounded good. Um, when we made these dialogues together as a class, we went through this <laughs> list and picked a few that we liked. That's why we have um Aksha Yanik and Ahtu Atwadikin and um yeah. Uh it's, it's, yeah, you have your hand up. Oh, yeah, thanks. I was just wondering, could you show me how to get to that? I just did. I just showed <laughs> it. I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. I'm on the <sighs> at language.com page. Do you know what tab it could? Yeah. So if you go under uh, resources. Sources. Under, and then beginning materials and scroll down. Beginning materials. And, and scroll down. Then... Okay. I saw that part. I didn't see the part before. Thank you so much. You're welcome. One uh, thing that helps with me also, if it helps you guys, is having my phone and taking a picture when when we do things like that. Yeah. 
that helps a lot. Okay, awesome. Okay, I want to get to a question I saw in the chat. Uh, why does it change from Yan Wuha? And um, okay, so let's look at that one in the short dialogue where there's and then there's two options yes i'm hungry or no i'm not hungry um the question is around <laughs> if i am hungry we say repeat after me uh-huh and then if you're not hungry you have this plesh to mark that it's negative okay. And then so repeat after me. Yeah, repeat after me. Tesh. And then yeah, good. And then you say in the negative form, repeat after me. Ah it yan wuha. Yeah. And so this un when we talked about this one before, mostly what I want you guys to recognize at this point is that there is a difference. So when you're going from the positive form, I am hungry to the negative form. I'm not hungry. The word is going to change a little bit. And that's true for a lot of words. If it's a positive form, it'll look one way. If it's a negative form. It'll, it'll <clears throat> sound and look a little bit different. Um, that's as far as I want to explain for now. And I want you guys to start um, just keeping your eyes open for those patterns. Um, gonna teach good question. How do you raise your hand? Uh, I think you go. Oh, the reactions. Reactions, yeah. Uh, Did reactions, you know? And it has your clapping thumbs up. And then it says raise hand at the bottom. Oh, okay. I was I was gonna raise my hand and see if you had gotten the um email that I sent you with those words. Oh, I'll check it after class because when I'm teaching, I gotta be like present for everybody. I, I can only yeah. yeah, I'll I'll check it after class. Thank you for sending it to me. Yeah, thank you for doing that. You're welcome. So since uh, one of you asked about positive and negative form, somebody asked about this word. And actually, to me, this was the first time I saw the difference between a positive and negative form. And I picked this word to just remember. And I was constantly looking at it and just using this as enough. Like when you start to learn a concept in the language, I recommend just picking one word and then just memorizing just that one so for i don't know repeat after me yeah yeah and then the positive form the positive form i do know it um repeat after me yeah and so for me in my first year learning Klinget, this is, I just tried to pay attention to some of the things that change. Even if I don't understand why, I would still just try to notice it. And I, I recommend that for learning. Spelling Klinget. is different. Yeah, the spelling's different. It sounds different. So in the negative form, we have sa here. Sa. Yeah. Uh, and then in the positive was... form, it changes to si. 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 Yeah. So keep mm. your eye out for that change as you start to see more verbs, words that are in the positive and negative. Keep your mm -hmm. eye out for a similar change. And then also we go from a short ending to a long ending from we go from negative to positive. Mm. Um, but yeah, for me, what's most helpful is rather than trying to understand why for each part, just kind of starting with the baseline of noticing that there's a difference and then keeping my eye out for more, for more um, things like that. Um, so last week we watched this video and I would like to revisit it again and explore it a little bit more. And then we'll go ahead and pick four new vocabulary items from the book.
after that though, to add on to our vocabulary. Okay, so let's watch it. <laughs> Not sure how loud this is going to be. Let's... I'll turn up my volume. Okay, it might be really loud. The music might be loud. Okay. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five. Yato at 
Sikhu Jimmy, at Katu Ati Yahai Aya Kakri Kakia at Yet He Eek Keg Tish Kakri Kaya Kakia at Yet He Arf 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 Keg Kesh Kaya Sukre Kakia Keg Kesh Sukre Kaya O Gusu Atsu at Cook Jimmy Train, I had Jimmy. Kesh do say a suicide. Kata go jaya at cook tin. Kat walk. Kat shoe. Kat cook. Kat walk. Kat chain at red. Jimmy of Tawasiko. Hatch of Tawasiko. The Akao Kaa Aya when you day you to send a Yankee when they take. Nas Jimmy, where could you get this gun? The cut you want, had you a gun? We do a cut up, old Jim. To tell ye you got to satin cut up, old Jim. To tell ye you got to satin, the cut ye want. To tell ye you got to satin, Jayuk. Nice. What'd you guys catch that time? Or what do you think? Yuck, hey, I'm able to pick up a couple more words. And now I was like, I was hearing them be like, is it this? No, it's not that. Is it this? No, it's not that. Good. That's awesome. That's so exciting to hear. Every time I watch a video and I learn, like, I hear a little bit more, I understand a little bit more. I feel like my world is kind of opening up just a little bit at a time. Ah, goodness, cheers. Ah, that's awesome. Um, anyone else? Did you catch any words where you're like, oh, I knew that this time? I think at the end they said, uh, so we'll see you again. Yeah. So let's add in. Let's add in a slide with some of the words we caught this time. And then um, I'm just kind of asking open-ended right off the bat, like if anything popped out at you. But usually what I like to do is play a sh So I'll watch the whole thing, just enjoy it, see if I have any, you know, generic 
observations and then I'll watch it again but just a short snippet of it and see what I can get at that time so let's do that and then um I want to pick out a couple new vocab items for us so we'll do one short one um they they used these phrases that you all pointed out last week and that we practiced today when they're saying dasawa susi what is it susi and she goes i don't know and then later in the video she goes ah khosi ku jimmy so as we start to play the video more um we'll zero in on those to pay attention to them but uh, it's kind of fun that we're the stuff we're learning is showing up so I'm going to do, I just want to get to the part where they're asking, is it this? So I'll open it, um, go to YouTube, hopefully there's no, okay, good, there's no ads. <laughs> okay, I'm going to fast forward to this part where they're putting it together. Jimmy, Okay, repeat after me. Da so was Susie. Da so was Susie. And then she says, repeat after me. Hesh was a ku. Yeah, away. And so let's put it in our dialogue. Da so Susie. Um, and, and what does that mean in English? What is that, Susie? Yeah, what is that, Susie? Yeah. And then she says, repeat after me. Ah, okay. And what does that mean? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, oh, well, I don't know. Good. Anna? Yes. Is it, what is that or what is this? Oh, yeah, good question. Das what is what is that? And das so what? Over there. It's, um, let me open up the book to a really good resource on this. And, um, because okay, I know like one's here, one's there, one's further, one's far. Exactly. <laughs> good. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad you brought that up. So in the beginning, think at workbook, there's a really good just illustration under the part called think it yeah, sense of space. I'm going to take you there. Here's the thing. Um, so if you go to the beginning Thinget workbook under Thinget Sense of Space, it's on page 25. And there's a diagram here of our speaker. And so this phrase means the per the one speaking and repeat after me, you ayatangi a. You ayatangi a. Yeah, that means the one speaking. And we have this spatial awareness illustration here, and it's very similar to what we have in English. If I have something, if I'm the one speaking and I have this giant water bottle. Oh, <laughs> <'cause> goodness. <laughs> this water bottle is ridiculous, comically large. I'm going to go with the cup. <laughs> Why do you have such a big water bottle? I don't know. Hydration uh, is important. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. but there's different ways of getting hydration other than water. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Drink a lot of tea. Thank you. Uh, I found a less embarrassing item on my <laughs> desk to put on the internet. Um, this is. I mean, uh, this is my water bottle. Yeah. <laughs> and it's only five hundred milliliters. I drink two of these a day. It's a much more reasonable. Oh, water. Okay. Sorry. My okay. Goodness. Didn't mean to distract us. So in English, I have like, if I'm holding, if I'm the one speaking and I have a cup here, I would say this is my cup. Uh, and think it would be yeah. Yeah, this is my cup. If it's across from the table for me, um, it would be if it's a little farther on maybe another table, what and if it's like way out yonder and I see it in the parking lot, uh, <laughs> it'd be like out yonder. So let's practice these. Um, and then we'll do vocabulary next week because uh I want to be able to practice these with you guys. Wow. So first one, um, the if it's closest to me or in your case to you, repeat after me. Yeah. 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 And then if it's a little farther away, hey. 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 And then a little farther, maybe the next table over. Wah. 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 And then way out yonder. Yeah. 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 So these are sounds that get added into other words. And I'm going to show you an example, but this is the pattern you should be listening for when people are talking about this or that, or here it is, or there it is. Um, I notice that they're all high tones. Yeah, they're all high tones and they'll be high tones even when you add them into other words. Goodness, cheesh. Ah, good, good observation. So in the book, we see how they can go long, but it's the same meaning. Um, and I'm going to skip down to words that have, well, actually, let's read it. So uh, ya or ya refers to something that is touchable or in hand. Okay, that was our first illustration closest to the speaker. And then he or he could refer to something closer to the speaker than the listener or right behind the speaker, but it can also refer to a nearby but unknown location. So this one's like, um, I the way I've heard this said before is when an elder was talking about his grandchild and the grandchild was sitting across the table from him in one of those round discussion tables. Mm. He said, and she was sitting like across the table from him. Uh what is that over there it refers to something out of reach but usually within the same basic space so when i teach in person i use examples um if i'm standing in the class and all the students are sitting in their desks away from me this is the spatial reference i would use what or way and then the last one is that over yonder it refers to something far away, including distant areas that cannot be seen. And that would be you or you. And I'll show you word, word examples where these are used. Um, and so let's do, let's practice the questions and answers using these. So what is this? You notice in the English translation, it's this. Uh, meaning that the person speaking is hold is holding something or they're talking about something that's right close or touchable to them. And so repeat after me. Dasaya. Dasaya. Yeah. What is this? And then if someone's across the room from you and they want to say, um, that's your, that's uh your nose <laughs> what is this okay this works uh you would say your nose is repeat after me yeah so is my nose is your nose so repeat after me yeah and then repeat after me 
Yeah. So let's repeat these again after me. Dasaya. Dasaya. Ishe owa. Ishe owa. Owa. Yeah, owa. So what is this? That is your nose. And then if the speaker is talking about something that's a little farther away from them, repeat this after me. Dasawa. Dasawa. Uh-huh. And then the person answering is holding um, or they're touching their eye and say, repeat after me. Ach wak aya. Ach wak aya. Aya. Yeah, so you're having a conversation where someone's pointing to your eye. What is that? And then you're pointing to your own eye and saying, this is my eye. <laughs> so one more time. Dasawa. Dasawa. Good. Really good, you guys. That reminds me of when you're asking somebody to like repeat themselves where you didn't hear them when you say dasa what? yeah yeah dasa is um if you're just asking what or what is it mm -hmm. you're not you're not adding that extra we ya he sound um yeah. you're not adding the spatial uh lo location marker you're just saying what is it yeah yeah really good i'm glad you noticed that similarity so another way, so we see these ya in the answer, this is, or we in what is that, or we in that is. And then you can also see it. So if you're asking somebody a where question, um, if I wanted to say, where is the nose? Like if I have all those blocks and there's like eyes and mouth and nose, and um, repeat after me. Gusu at the. Gusu at the. Gusu. Yeah. So if I'm looking through all the blocks and I'm like, where's the thing's nose? Let's do it one more time. Gusu at the. Gusu at the. Yeah. And then uh, Susie finds it. She picks up the block with the nose on it and she says, repeat after me. Ya do at the. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah. So I thought I heard that. I thought I heard her say something about the nose that we just did. Yeah, good. That's awesome. That's cool. You picked up on it. So this is the these are the words that they use. He's asking, where is the nose? And she says, here is the thing's nose. So since notice that in English it's right here. And Susie's the one holding it. It's close to her. That's why she uses this ya yeah, because it's right close to her. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 I don't understand. Yeah. So, okay. So for the sound ya, yeah, this specifies the spatial, like how close something is to the speaker. And since the thing is right here, um, let me show you the diagram. Or the picture. This helps me understand it. It comes from this. Yeah. 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 Right. Right here is the nose. Yeah. In yeah. that. Yeah. The yellow ring. Yeah. The yellow ring closest. Yeah. To it. Yeah. Um. Let's look at another example for comparison. If it were farther away from Susie, and she's pointing to it, she would say, "Repeat after me." Way do atla. Yeah. Yeah. Or if someone it chucked it. There. Yeah, there it is over there. If someone chucked it and now it's like out the window in the parking, mm -hmm. they might say, repeat after me, you do it. You, you do it. Yeah. It's way over there. There's the nose. Oh, <laughs> really far. <laughs> Yeah, who threw, um, it? <laughs> who threw it? Is it possible for you to spell those out? Because yeah. I guess I'm a visual learner, so it's okay. easy for me to see it. Oh. Yeah, I'll write them. Um, I'll write them out. So they're here in the book, and then I'll also write it with the uh, at the end. Oh, good. Yeah. So I, I saw that there was somebody that asked 
why are the puppets so popular with the language programs? And I was wondering the same thing. And I was wondering if, like, they seem like they're older. So did it have to do with, yeah. like, yeah. when I know my grandma talked a lot about not being able to speak their language? Yeah. Is that, does that have anything to do with it? No. Um, the puppets tend to be a popular language learning resource because you can, I think it's because you can act out a dialogue. Oh, okay. So, so your students can watch it, so a conversation happening, and then they can put themselves in the puppet's shoes. <laughs> that's, right. the, that's the weirdest thing I said all day. But they can put themselves in the yeah. puppet's shoes and kind of be like, that was me. <laughs> I have well, to yeah, like, I like, enjoyed the cartoons. Yeah, like you're a visual person, so that that works good with you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay, so I'll write these in the slides, and then we gotta go, you guys. But I'll make sure these are ready for our next class, not next week, but the week after. Go so at the. You Where? are also going to show us how to get the to set our keyboard to the clinket template i guess you call it you're that. right um yeah so we can do that in next time yeah let me make a note um for next time too because you guys had such good questions and we watched that whole video so i'll make a note where we leaving where we're leaving off today so that two weeks from now we have more time sorry about that yeah, I had to get my our IT guy to help me do mine. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was yeah. I could I wasn't able to figure it out myself, but it's very simple now. It's just one click, and then my keyboard changes. Yeah, if you have an <laughs> IT person to help you, that is very helpful. I don't think my IT guy would know how to do it because he'd be going, "What language?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Satan, is there a language hangout today? Yes, there is, and we could like explore, explore this there. Okay, yeah. If you go <laughs> the keyboard, to quick... the keyboard right. dilemma. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, hang on. It's just like to... downloading it to our to our devices, and then and then there's a whole keyboard thing. But being mindful of the time, it is eleven thirty um and what a wonderful class Anna oh my gosh I loved that video I thought it was just so cute <laughs> good yeah. good they, I think they are awesome and we have a class next week no no, no class okay. next week but the week after and the 17th lovely okay. gotta mark that on my calendar um what the heck is the date the third Okay. Oh, I have it on there already. Are we meeting on the 10th? Yeah. I went over this in the beginning of class. We have okay. 10th and 17th. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Love you guys. I got to go. See you. Take, Take care. care. Thank you. 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 Thank